This feature is sometimes confused with coverage and capacity optimization or CCO feature. In CCO, the coverage or capacity gap is more of a design issue, whereas in case of cell outage, as the name implies, there is an outage. In this case, the coverage holes have to be temporarily fixed until the actual problem is sorted out. When there are issues with an E node B or a cell, the SON server or OAM is aware that there is an issue. This is because it has access to a lot of historic information that allows it to see how everything should be performing as compared to how it's performing currently. A simplified way to represent self-healing would be as shown here. As you can see, there is a log of many different inputs like historical parameter settings, historical performance indicators, call traces, system alarms, and topology information. Data mining algorithms can use this information autonomously to detect the faults, find the root cause, and automatically resolve the issue. If the problem is serious, then it would be escalated to the support team for manual resolution. So let us understand what exactly is cell outage management or COM. -com. Cell outage management comprises of mechanisms for both cell outage detection, COD, and cell outage compensation, COC. Cell outage detection and compensation provides automatic mitigation of E node B failures, especially in the case where the E node B equipment is unable to recognize being out of service and has therefore failed to notify the OAM of the outage. Detection and compensation are two distinct cases that cooperate to provide a complete solution. Cell outage detection typically combines multiple separate mechanisms to determine whether an outage has occurred. This is needed to detect the latent fault case, often described as sleeping cell where OAM is unaware of the issue. Cell outage compensation techniques are generally only applied after standard soft recovery techniques have failed to restore the normal service. Let us see what does this really mean. Important to note here that when there is a cell outage, most of the immediately surrounding cells may need their parameters to be adapted by the COC algorithm. In the slide here, the cell that has outage is shown as black, while the cells with darker shade of blue are the ones whose parameters will be adapted. But then, the next level of cells shown by lighter shade of blue may be impacted as well due to the parameters of the other layer of cells being adapted. All these have to be taken into account before any parameters can be changed. Again, there are different types of cells. Most of them are focused on providing a great QoS, but then some of them may be focused on accessibility, while others may be focused on providing just the coverage. They will all have different optimization goals that the COC algorithm should take into account. The slide shows the components and workflow of cell outage management. Various measurements are gathered from the UEs and the E-NodeBs. The measurements are then fed into the cell outage detection function, which decides whether at the current time an outage has occurred and triggers the cell outage compensation function to take appropriate actions. In the example shown here, the base station in the center has an outage resulting in a coverage hole. The neighboring cells have increased their coverage in order to alleviate the degradation in coverage and quality. Cell outage compensation is typically characterized by an iterative process of radio parameter adjustment and evaluation of the performance impact. In this process, there is a clear need to estimate the performance in the vicinity of the outage area. This is useful in order to determine to what degree the compensation actions are successful in terms of satisfying the given operator policy during an outage. 
This can be provided by the so-called XMAP estimation function, which continuously monitors the network and by possibly using other sources of information such as propagation prediction data, estimates the spatial characteristics of the network, example coverage and quality. Essentially, an XMAP is a geographical map with overlay performance information. Here are some references for this topic. The first paper is specifically on this topic and I have used as the main reference for this presentation. This was cell outage detection and compensation in brief. In the next video, we will look at energy saving, which is a really important topic. In our TCO video, we looked at how RAN power consumption plays a big role in an operator's OPEX. Energy saving schemes are really important in the network. Thanks for watching this video and see you again soon. Goodbye.